So in today's video, I'm going to be remaking a video that I made a while ago, but I've changed a few things because of enclosure changes and things like that. So I'm going to be starting off the summer with a how to clean your beta tank video. And this is for um, a tank. I have a five gallon in there for my beta. So um, this is how you clean a larger tank than most people keep their betas in. Um, but um, so my, my fish tank has been going through this thing where it has a bunch of perma algae in it at the moment. And I haven't wiped the glass in quite a while. The last time I cleaned it, I just cleaned it, barely wiped the glass because I was in a hurry and haven't cleaned it in about a month. So we're going to just clean it. I try to clean it every month. And, um, but this past time I was in such a hurry, I didn't clean it very well. And therefore more perma algae grew in it. And now it looks absolutely disgusting. But, um, so just excuse the fact that my tank looks disgusting. We're going to be cleaning it all out today. So, um, yeah, um, this is going to work a little bit different than uh, my last cleaning my tank video. If y'all watched that one, it was my big tank and this is my smaller tank. And it's not going to work the same because it's not just going to be a bunch of time lapse gonna have little breaks in between so that I can tell you what I'm doing and what um, I'm going to do next. So let's just get into it. So we're gonna start off with everything that you're gonna need to clean your fish tank. So I have everything right here next to me. You can see the edge of the bucket. Um, so I'm gonna start by pulling out the siphon. Someone didn't clean this after they used it last. So I'm gonna have to start off by cleaning this. But, um, yeah, so that's the siphon. I'm just gonna pull out something random. Okay, so I have a cup here. I might be wondering why I have a cup. So I, since I'm gonna be doing, oh, since I'm going to be doing a lot of scrubbing on the sides of the tank, um, I thought I don't want to traumatize my fish too much, so I'm just gonna leave her in this cup while I'm cleaning the tank. So this is a sponge, obviously, to clean the sides of the tank, and don't worry, this has never touched any soap products. Those are very bad to put into your fish's water. So um, this has never touched any products. This is not brand new. I have used it to scrub the tank before, and um, that's the only thing this sponge has ever done. Um, this is just a little clip to hold the siphon on the edge of the bucket. And then I have a bucket to put the dirty water into. Um, this is a three gallon bucket. I'll probably only be siphoning that much water. So um, this bucket should last me the whole time I was, I'm cleaning the tank. So let's get started by cleaning the siphon out. So now that we have um, officially cleaned out the siphon, we can now get on to getting my fish out of the tank. Sorry, this is kind of a weird angle, but now I'm going to start scrubbing the edges of the tank, the sides of the tank, and I'm going to start getting all that disgusting algae off the tank. I have officially finished scrubbing the tank, although it may not look like it because the water is super murky, but um, now I'm going to take the siphon and the bucket and I'm going to just siphon it out. So now I have finished siphoning out the tank and I'm about to just 
refill it with some water and then scrub out the scrub off the decorations but right now I am just going to refill it with water and I am putting a water conditioner in this water I'm putting this top fin water conditioner in the water when I'm put it, before I'm putting it in and I have to put the water in gallon by gallon because that's the biggest container I can measure with so I have to go gallon by gallon so it does take a little bit longer than if I just filled up the tank and then put the conditioner in but um let's get started putting water back in the tank I am so sorry because I forgot to film for that part but I will just show you the tank really quickly da, 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 da. it may look still like it's a little bit foggy that's just because of the glass and um, the plastic and um, the plastic kind of like morphs the uh, water to look foggy and kind of disgusting so now I'm going to actually film me uh, cleaning the decorations that go in her tank So guys, right there I cleaned the decorations and put them back into the tank and I did not use soap to clean them, I just scrubbed them off. And now we are going to put my little fishy back into her tank and there is still a little bit of the algae left in her tank because it is good, um, it is good to have that bacteria in the tank because I do not have a filter, I cannot keep those levels steady. So I'm, uh, I leave a little bit of the algae in her cage each time. I clean it so that it um, can benefit her from the beneficial bacteria. So let me just put her back in her tank. So guys, I think in this video, I didn't do a good, very good uh, job at telling you how to do it. I just told you what to do when you're cleaning a fish tank. So tell me if you want a video that's more in depth on how to do it because I feel like I didn't do a very good job of doing that in this video. But other than that, this video took a really long time and now I'm extremely tired. I'm probably going to take a nap. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!